Hi everyone, hope you are doing fine. Today I decided to do some portrait photo shoot and a little bit of short video with the Sony 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens on the Sony ZV-E10 to see if this lens is really good or not and to see how this lens performs for your portrait works. And I am with my beautiful mother, Marianne. Hi guys. I will leave her Instagram ID down below so you can check her page. And so let's go and do some portrait photo shoots and some videos to see how this lens performs on the Sony ZV E10. So we did this photo shoot somewhere around my friend's house. It's not the best location for photography, but again, for testing the capabilities of this lens, it could be good. And here you will see the first photo which I I took and if I zoom on the photo you will see the sharpness it's not the best sharpness like the prime lenses but again it's acceptable it would not give you so much background blur and I am shooting on the 50 millimeter focal lens of this lens to get the most out of it to get the most background blur and again it's not the same as a prime lens 1.8 lens but it's again a cheap lens and for a starting the photography it could be good uh, you should remember that you should use a high shutter speed if the model is moving and if you are moving the camera and here again you will see it's not that so much sharp because the model was moving i was uh, on the shutter 600 or uh, 640 of a second but again it was not sharp and but here in this photo you will see that i could get a, a sharper result because my model was uh, staying steady and i was not moving the camera and I could achieve uh, some sharper results here and I chose this background, it was a busier background and you will see how this lens performs in a busy environment and here you see that uh, the eyes were sharper I was here on 1 over 4 hundredths of a second and you will see how these photos turned out and here I came down to have the trees at the background to see how busy the background gets and I think this shot is nice and it is sharp enough and good for a cheap lens and it's really acceptable. You could achieve some good results even with this uh, cheap lens. This is, uh, the fo these photos are shot in nature and I think you could achieve better results with this lens in uh, a street photography. Uh, where the environment is not that busy like in, in nature and this is what you could get here and here we were changing the location a little bit this, this is not the best location I was just testing this lens here it is we do not have a good lighting but again this is what you could get here uh, the photos were uh, the camera was a little bit shaking and my shutter speed was on uh, 1 over 160 of a second and the photo did not and uh, became so sharp and then we moved into my friend's house yard and here I took some other shots we, see, we saw a beautiful orange tree and I told the model to come a little bit closer to the camera so we have a little bit of depth uh, with the tree so we get a blurrier background even with this uh, cheap lens you could achieve some good results if you know how to create depths and here as you see I took some shots and these shots turned out really sharp the sharp the sharpening sharpening of a lens really depends on the lighting and your shutter speed you should really check these and as you see here if i zoom on the photos you will see that 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 they came out really sharp and i really liked them and after that i decided to shoot some videos with the 16 to 50 mm kit lens on the 50 mm focal lens on the dji rs2 gimbal and I shoot some videos in 4K 30 frames per second and also some videos in 120 frames per second to see how it performs. Something important to mention is that the video IAF gets, gets disabled in 120 frames per second which is not nice but again for a budget camera like this it is acceptable. You could still achieve some great results, the autofocus is really stunning and uh, something important uh, to mention is that the DJI RS2 gimbal is really powerful for this tiny camera and it is really sensitive uh, I was decreasing the sensitivities to all the speeds uh, to the slow but again it was really sensitive I think you could uh, more fine tune it with the mobile app but again this is what we achieved with this lens Another party Another Friday night 
another talk that might turn into a fight Too many faces you only see online Too many cases of faking by design Wake up every morning just to go right back to sleep Text everyone you already know you'll never meet Dance alone around your room and get down to the beat Wanna change the world, 21 and a feeling old hey! 